Most likely from the Tantara mine in the Katanga Copper Crescent, we have a solid underlying matrix of calcite. But when we look on the other side, this is the side which appeals to me. Lovely uh, little cave of diaptos over there. Just see if we can get in a little bit closer. We can have a little bit of a deeper look inside this guy. Come around like this. T tiny diaptos. Of course, diaptos, uh, the name originating from imitation emeralds. So I think when the guys first found it, they thought they were looking at these lovely, rich, dark green emerald crystals. And these diaptos are intensely dark green. Of course, from the uh, most likely from the Tantara mine, uh, the Katanga um, copper mines are quite famous for the lovely dark, rich green diaptos is coming from there. From a display point of view, I would pretty much display it. I love this little cavity on the side, so I'd, I'd bring out that as a main focus on the specimen. Um, so we, we, we'd most likely display it flat because the, the, the back end isn't all that appealing. Although there is some um, formation of calcite, a little bit of sketching on the calcite in the back there, as you can see. Um, so the main focus, or alternately display it at an angle like this. Of course, the, the main focus here would be the lovely diaptos, well, the little diaptos cave on the side. Uh, Technically speaking, can we call it a geode? Yeah, I'd say we could go with geode and that tiny geode sitting on the calcite matrix.